Hello and welcome to this bite-sized economics video on excess supply and demand. Now before we get started you need to know this important concept called market equilibrium which is shown right here on this lovely little graph. So what is it? Well market equilibrium is a situation that occurs in a market when the price is such that the quantity that consumers wish to buy is exactly balanced by the quantity that firms wish to supply. Or in short we'd put QS, quantity supplied, as equal to QD which is quantity demanded. So how does this link to our topic of, topic of excess supply and demand? Well, excess supply, first off, is when the quantity su supplied is greater than the quantity that demanded. And excess demand is when the quantity demanded is greater than the quantity supplied. So there's more demand in the market than there is supply. And you need to be able to interpret this on a graph. So if we look, off, look at first off excess demand, let's say, well, let's put our price level at P2. So this is, as you can see, below the equilibrium price level. So if we follow this along here, this low price, there's going to be loads of demand for it because people see it's so cheap. And that's why there's such a high quantity demanded here at Q1. However, if the price is so low, not many suppliers are going to, going to want to supply it because they're not going to be able to make much money from this. So that's why they're only going to supply here. So that means that the excess demand is shown by this little triangle here. So the, between the equilibrium price level and this, uh, it's, so this triangle, sorry, represents the equilibrium supply level and the, uh, and the amount that's being supplied and the amount that's being demanded. So that's what that triangle there is showing. And how you calculate excess supply is by Q1 minus QD to represent this little gap here. So that's excess demand. Now looking over here at excess supply. So if you follow this grey line here, if there's a really high price in the market, then loads of suppliers are going to say, yeah, right, we've got a really good opportunity to make profit. Let's all supply at this level up here. So they're going to supply at this quanti quantity supplied one, Q1 up here. But if the price is so high, not many people are going to want to buy this product. And it's going to say, well, it's a bit of a rip off. It's above the market equilibrium level. So there's not going to be that high demand in the market at this price level. So there's going to be way more suppliers than the quantity demanded. And that is why we've got this triangle here of quantity supplied. So if we're operating in a free market, we're always going to operate at this equilibrium price because natural forces can be expected to encourage prices to adjust the equilibrium price level. And sometimes we do have government um, and so just linking to government intervention as well. Sometimes, because they don't have the best information about our markets, they might say, right, yeah, okay, we'll just um put in like loads of these sign, loads of these lampposts. Everyone needs some lampposts. When actually we don't need as many lampposts. So there's just going to be excess supply of lampposts. Actually, lampposts isn't um the best example because you actually it's kind of difficult to have too many. But just say that they're supplying loads of I don't know fruit they think right everyone's gonna get healthy we're just going to supply loads and loads of fruit but people don't actually want to eat as much fruit as they expected people would so we're going to have an excess supply of it and that's when government intervention can cause excess supply and excess demand and now you also need to know how a change in the shift of supply or demand what the effect is going to be so sorry i haven't actually been able to draw it on here because i didn't want to confuse you all with too many lines going everywhere but we're just going to try and envisage it use our imaginations so the size and the direction of the shifts of the demand curves determine the overall effect on the equilibrium price and quantity tra traded so for example um if we get this massive right if we get this demand line i can't move i'm really sorry to shift this way then actually i'm going to try and draw a tiny little line you quickly just so they oops oops daisy apologies about that um just because i think it is important for you to know what's going to happen so sorry if everything freaks out for a second so we've got our lovely new demand line here and as you can see if we're shifting it, the market equilibrium point here is going to shift to this point here, just where my arrow is. 
and excess supply here, if they do supply to if they do continue to supply at this price level, it's going to cause a, sh a smaller excess supply because the whole market equilibrium price has jumped up, which means that this price jump to P1 isn't as big. So the demand is actually going to be a bit higher at that price level. And then excess demand here, if they decided to carry on this low price level because it's so far away, it's so much lower than the market equilibrium, equilibrium price is going to be in excess demand for that price level because it's way below the market price, which means loads of people will want to buy at that level. Now, you might need to know as well examples of excess supply and demand in markets. And I'm so, sorry, I haven't actually put um, an examples point here, but it's just in case you get a case study on the exam. So, for example, if you've got a drought, then there's going to be we'll say way less strawberries and that's going to mean that the quantity demanded of people are like no I still really want some strawberries it's going to be way above the amount supplied so that's an example of an excess of supplies drought or if we've got lots of new unskilled workers come to a city and that all and all of the workers are willing to take jobs at low wages because there are more workers than there are available jobs the excess supply of workers drives that drives the wages down so for example loads of people come to London all looking for jobs and they're going to say no don't mind how much we pay for it at all it's going to drive down the market equilibrium price which means because of the excess supply it's going to excess supply of labour it's going to drive down the market equilibrium price or if we have um, a famous artist I'm not very good at art or artist name so I'm afraid I'm not going to use an example of one in case I get it completely wrong and receive a lot of angry emails about famous artists but sorry right that's going off point but if a famous artist die he's not or he or she's not going to be able to produce any more art so this means that as the demand keeps rising for this famous artist's work the supply isn't going to shift at all because obviously they're dead they can't produce any more art so this is going to call this excess demand is going to cause the price to rise so there's either going to be a high price rise or an excess demand at the original equilibrium point. So that's all I've got on excess supply and demand, and I hope you've learnt a bit more and enjoyed the video. All right, thank you very much. Bye.